Hello guys, back again for another update. In this update I'm going to showcase my new planet shaders, which I have reworked uh, with my planetary ocean system. And uh, it's not finished, but it is to a point where I do want to show you guys some progress of what I'm working on. Now, you may, this Earth is one million meters in diameter. So, it's the size of an actual small moon uh, in real world scale. So, also, you may notice that it looks pretty stunningly amazing as far as the texture quality on the surface. And the reason why that is is because I am blending uh, using a whole bunch of alpha masks that I created in Photoshop of the Earth's surface, I am blending in high resolution textures into the uh, base uh, albedo texture of the planet in order to get rid of the uh, pixelation of the base map because the base map texture has a maximum resolution of 8K, which is nowhere near the resolution you would need to achieve uh, a high quality non-pixelated visual you know, of the, the surface texture so that's how flight I controls activated do that uh, also you may notice the ocean if you look closely at the ocean you'll see the uh, kind of little white lines those are waves I'm fixing to uh, fly on up here and zoom by the space station that's in orbit. Uh, now you see on my uh, UI indicators, those are the distances to these objects, uh, which is in the millions. Uh, it's one million, I can't read that, 800,000 meters to the center of the Earth from here. So let's go ahead and fly up here. Now, I do need to do some work on my flight controller. It's a little wonky at the moment. Uh, oh, no Emergency me. stop. So I got to where I can stop so I don't fly on. Emergency space. stop. All right, so yeah, I definitely need to do some work on my flight controller, but I'm still working on the shaders. Stop. Yeah. Emergency stop. So, let's cruise on by the space station. Uh, now, I haven't done any of the shaders uh, for the materials or anything. This is just the base materials that I got with the this little space uh, international space station. Now, I did add a uh, my own material here, my own shader for the reflection on these solar panels. So you'll see there's a, a reflection space reflection coming off those solar panels. <coughs> so, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, take a little flight around the planet here. Now, I am running the volumetric clouds uh, as well, but uh, I need to do some serious optimization with that system uh, in order to get a greater depth of the clouds. And uh, I'm, I got a lot of work to do with the cloud system. So the clouds are nowhere near finished at the moment. And I am also working on the transition system for the atmospheric, uh, atmospheric effect still. So if I go ahead and fly down here to the desert, you'll see that these are high resolution textures on the surface, along with the normal maps. Still working on the sky blending. I'm still working on doing a sunset transition uh, for the dark side of the planet. Now, uh, you'll notice that I am flying at around 60,000 meters per second. Uh, otherwise, it would take literally forever to fly around this uh, enormous 
object called a grid. So I'm also still working on the dark side of the planet, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the dark side. And then also, I'm also going to be working on the lights on the ground, and I'm going to be blending some high resolution city uh, textures in to make the lights appear like they're coming from cities. Instead of just, uh, you know, a kind of pixelated, you know, blob or the definitely improve the visual quality of the uh, night lights uh, tremendously when I do work on that. I do work on the night side of the planet. So, yeah, and you notice that the earth is tessellated. It takes me a while to fly around this planet, even with uh, moving at 70,000 meters a second here. And I'm, uh, the clouds are still lit. Uh, I'm still working on the cloud shaders. You may notice that they're bright on the night side as well as the day side.
that they'd definitely be up there with uh, the best uh, Earth planet renders uh, ever created in a, in a video game engine when I get done. And you'll be able to fly through the atmosphere, through the volumetric clouds, down to the surface. And uh, you will be able to land on the surface, get out, walk out, but that would require uh, a vertex displaced mesh uh, in Blender in order to get that collider uh, for the planet. Which I will go ahead and do that uh, later on. be doing some uh, some more work to the surface textures blending in uh, some more textures to give more detail uh, and I'll probably find some better textures as well than what I currently have thanks for watching guys